Hi everyone, welcome back, and today we are making rainbow bagels. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, there is this bagel store in New York that's selling rainbow bagels, and like they're hugely popular now. And so as much as I'd like to, I don't live in New York. <laughs> um, so I thought it'd be really cool to try to make like a homemade version and show you guys how to make them if you're like me and don't live in New York or if you don't feel like waiting for like an hour and a half or something, however long the line is for the bagels. So homemade bagels are so, so good. They are so soft and so fluffy and they make your house smell amazing. They take a little bit of time but they're totally worth the effort and I know a lot of you guys might be like watching this thinking like that is such a huge amount of food coloring in the bagels but there actually isn't that much because we're using gel food coloring so it's a lot more potent than using liquid food coloring. These bagels make me so happy. I think they're so pretty and I wish I made like a million of them just so I could eat them like every single day. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this adorable little blue thing behind me is, if you guys follow me on Snapchat then you know, but PB Teen so, so generously, oh my goodness, sent me this and it's so it's like a desk chair. Um, but it's like an exercise ball, but it's fluffy. <laughs> and they also generously sent me the rug to use in my set, and also I use this in my office because it's so cute. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you if anybody from PP Team is watching. It's so cute. And if you guys would like a lovely little fluffy chair or a rug of your own, I will have both of these linked in the description box for the, below for you. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started and make the bagel. So first, what you want to do is pour a quarter cup of warm water into the bowl of an electric mixer and sprinkle the yeast on top. Let it sit for five minutes for the yeast to develop. Then add the remaining two cups of warm water, some sugar, vegetable shortening, and salt, and mix on low speed with the dough hook attachment. Gradually add five and a half cups of bread flour, mixing for two to three minutes until all ingredients are combined. Increase to medium speed and mix for six minutes, adding the remaining flour one tablespoon at a time. Then brush the inside of a large bowl with some of the melted butter. Shape the dough into a ball and place it inside the bowl. Brush the top of the bun with some more butter and then cover with a sheet of buttered plastic wrap. Place the towel on top and let the dough rise at room temperature for one hour. Then transfer the dough to a floured surface and divide into six even portions. Dye each portion a different color with some gel food coloring. And so it's gonna take several minutes of kneading to get the dough to be a uniform color. Um, it took me around five minutes-ish per color and it's like it makes your wrist hurt a little bit um, but like it's a good workout and um, the result is so worth it so just like put something on TV and keep kneading and I recommend wiping down your countertop between each color just so that you don't have any color transfer between the different colors so I made them yesterday and my hands aren't dyed anymore but they were like dark purple after I finished the last color so make sure to wash your hands in between each color as well and if you want to minimize color transfer from your hands dye the dough in the order of yellow orange pink purple blue and green so that's a bit more of a natural transition instead of going from like yellow directly to purple or something like that then place each ball of dough in an individual buttered bowl and brush some more butter on top of each ball Cover with a buttered sheet of plastic wrap and a dish towel and let them rise at room temperature for an hour and a half. Then transfer the bowls to the fridge and chill for one hour. Then in the meantime, we're going to do some prep. You want to spray two baking sheets with cooking spray and sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. But if you don't like sesame seeds, you can use cornmeal instead. Then cover two additional baking sheets with some dish towels and sprinkle flour onto one of the dish towels and then set all of these aside. Then transfer the balls of dough to a floured surface one color at a time. Deflate the dough and roll it out into a rectangle shape. Stack the colors of dough in the order of the rainbow, and then gently roll the dough out a little bit to seal the colors together, and then divide the dough in half. Wrap one half in buttered plastic wrap and return it to the fridge, and then slice the remaining half into five pieces, then roll them into sausage shapes. Twist them once or twice to give them the swirly pattern, and then shape them into rings by pinching the ends together. Transfer the bagels to the baking sheet with a flour dish towel and cover them with an additional dish towel. Then bring a large pot of water to a boil and add some sugar and baking soda. Place the bagels into the boiling water and boil them for one and a half to two minutes per side. Then transfer the boiled bagels to the baking sheet along with the unfloured dish towel. Then you want to transfer them to one of the baking sheets sprinkled with sesame seeds. So now you want to preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then brush the bagels with an egg white and water glaze and if you like, you can sprinkle them with some additional sesame seeds. 
And so before baking, you want to place a sheet of aluminum foil on top of the bagels. So I didn't do this for the first batch and they browned and the color went away and it was so disappointing. <laughs> but I did do this the second time. So here you can see the difference and it's so sad because now I have five bagels that are really, really dark and like not as happy looking and then I have five that I love. So. Um, so if you like the darker look, then just don't cover them with aluminum foil, but if you want them to be brighter, then cover them with aluminum foil and it will prevent the surface thingy from browning. <laughs> then in a small glass, you want to place about four ice cubes and a quarter cup of water. So this next step is going to look weird, but it's worth it and it makes the bagels turn out really, really nicely. So you want to pop the bagels into the oven and then as soon as you put them in, you want to get that glass of ice water and literally throw it into the bottom of your oven. Um, and then as soon as you do that, shut the door. And so the steam that that creates is going to slightly steam the bagels and it will make them taste so good. And this doesn't damage your oven at all, don't worry. But if you're worried, you can put like a casserole dish in the bottom, like the bottom rack of your oven and then throw the ice into that if you don't wanna like throw water directly into the bottom of your oven. And then as soon as you shut the door, you wanna reduce the heat in the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and bake the bagels for 25 minutes. And then after 25 minutes, turn off the oven, bake them for five additional minutes, and then after those five minutes, open the oven doors and keep the bagels in the oven and then bake them for another five minutes. So this is complicated. I don't know why we're supposed to be doing this, but it makes them taste so good. So just trust me, they'll taste amazing. <laughs> and then while the first batch is baking, you can use the second half of the dough to make the other five bagels. And then after cooking, just transfer the bagels to a cooling rack and you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. This is like the happiest, brightest recipe I think I've ever made. So eh, I hope you liked it. So on Thursday, I am making another rice cooker dish like you guys requested and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So make sure to check back on Thursday if you'd like a traditional dish that you wouldn't expect to be able to make in a rice cooker. And I love you guys so much and I will see you on Thursday for a new video. Bye.